Hi folks, it's Peg, and today we're going to do a little alchemy. <laughs> I was working on something the other day, and I started looking at the products that I had, and I wasn't really satisfied because I wanted some uh, heavier weight product that would hold a little dimension. Um, I was doing, I don't know if you watched it the other day or not, but I was doing those canvas boards, and uh, yeah. 3D matte gel or something with some texture or you know so I thought well you know I've seen people make this stuff right so I thought well it's all this year about using what we have using it up so I've got these dollar store craft sticks I've got a paper bowl I've got different powders I have this <laughs> this jack store I don't think it's been around for 20 years. This has been in my cupboard in the bathroom for that long, okay. And some of this uh, dollar store body powder, whatever. It's all talc, right? And then I also have, you know, we, when this stuff is on sale, this all-purpose glue, uh, yeah, we go to the store and we buy this stuff because it's cheap and then it sits on the shelf and gets hard, right? So I've got, this is a four ounce, oh boy, can I get the lid off? This is a four ounce bottle of this Elmer's. Let's see just how much that is. Get it out here. And then I also have this little uh, container. Now, the cool thing about these Elmer's bottles is they have this screw top lid so I'm thinking I can pull these labels off, rinse these out, and reuse these bottles because it's about reusing, right? Reusing what we have. And I've got just about all of that out of there. I'll probably put the lid back on and set it upside down so I can get the very last drop. So I'll do this and I'll set that up over here so it can drain down. And then, um, oh boy, this is a 24 ounce bottle of this stuff, and I don't know if I can get, I don't know if I can get the lid off because it's got one of these shaker tops. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and pry that baby off of there. See if I can. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that, popped right off. So, I want about the same amount. This is, uh, says 5.2 fluid ounce container. So just about, just about a container full of this stuff that I'm going to put into, ooh, put into my glue. Don't breathe in. Hoo, 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 hoo. Now, I've heard all the warnings about baby powder and stuff, but I'm going to capture this in my glue and put it to use because I don't have any baby bottoms to powder anymore. Um, and after you read all that stuff in the news about using this on your bottom I don't know if I ever would and it's thickening up nicely so I may get a really nice thick consistency out of this okay maybe I should have done this more gradually but it's all about experimentation and learning right Yeah, I think I need a little more glue. Although it's not really holding yet. It's not really holding its shape as well as I was hoping for. So you know what? I might try something in addition. Because this is pretty runny. Okay, I got an idea. 
I'm going to grab some tissue paper. And I'm just going to mix mix some of those paper pieces in here and hopefully the tissue will absorb the moisture. Oh, you know, I should have probably done something a little more. All right, enough of that kind of tissue. <laughs> the tissue I should be using is something really soft, right? Like Kleenex or whatever Scott's brand, right? Because this stuff is soft, super soft. And it's made to collect moisture. So let's try this stuff. I'm just shredding it up a bit. Sorry, my watch keeps going off here. Maybe I just need to put it on night mode. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm on night mode. All right, let's see what this does. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. And I think if you get this stuff thick enough, you could probably even mold it. You know? We were talking about molding products yesterday because I had ordered some stuff. Some stuff. Yeah, look at that. That's. I bet you could mold this. Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to put this one in the box and let it sit and see what happens after it's had, after those papers have had a chance to absorb more of the moisture. And then I'm going to start a new batch. We're going to start some for molding. So I'm going to put this in here. Okay, so that's one batch, and this has that rubber gasket, so I think it should seal up and stay, and I'll just clamp that down, and I probably need to label that so that I don't forget what it is. Let's see, get out this thing. Uh, This is one of those Dymo label makers if you don't have one. This is that Kleenex tissue. just shredding it just you know making the fibers more easily accessible here
Okay, and then we need some of that baby powder or talc or whatever you got in the cupboard like I have. And then we need some Elmer's glue or glue all or whatever you've got on the shelf because heaven only knows we all have this stuff, right? Okay. So let's see if we can get this mixed without making a mess. more a little more of the glue and I'll finish mixing this and then I'll get some molds and we'll see what we have so I have this stuff pretty well blended now uh, you can see it's nice and thick and I'm going to try using it a couple of different ways. I've got some molds here so first thing is I'm going to try putting some and I put some gloves on because this is glue and otherwise it would just be all over me. So I'm going to put some of this in these molds and see if it will take the mold and if it will release later after it dries. So we'll give this a try. This might be a cheap alternative to some of those other clays that I've been using. Um, you know, I do use paper clay and this has paper in it. So it's kind of like a homemade paper clay, right? Get that down in that area there. Let's see if I can get this scraped off evenly. There's another little sun face. Try to get that down in there. And I think I should be able to just take the scissors and trim this stuff up once I get it popped out. So I'm not going to worry too much about any overlap on the mold itself. I'm just going to try to clean it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to patch. <laughs> so, and then I also have, this is a piece of wood with a craft mat on it. And I'm just going to make like a skin, see what I can do by smoothing this out. And maybe I can make a a piece that can be attached to a canvas or something. So let's get the rest of this out here onto my work surface. I'm just going to spread that.
take off. So I'm back with yet another product. Um, this is called Creol, C-R-E-A-L-L, -L, and I'll try to remember to put a link in for you. It cracks me up because it's a dew and dry modeling material. It comes from uh, American educational products, and one of the things it says on here, it's for uh, children ages six and up. Well, that's me. It's air drying, but it also says it's gluten free. So I guess if they swallow it, you don't have to worry about the kids with celiac. I don't know why. Um, it says it's it's natural ingredients, 98%. So I don't know what the other 2% is, but um, it's a very soft, pliable material. I like it a lot, um, and it's it has almost like a putty consistency. So when you're putting it into your molds, you know, it pushes pushes right into the molds very easily. Like so. And I think I'm going to get a really good crisp image out of the molds using this product. Um, it's much smoother than the paper clay goes in much easier and so I'm, I'm liking it already um, just from the little bit I've used it I just just got this this weekend ordered it off of Amazon so we'll give it a good test and see how it goes but I think you're gonna like it um, the one thing is it because it has this putty consistency it does stick to your fingers a little bit but that's okay because it cleans up real easily with baby wipe and I'm just going to store it in a plastic bag here. Let's see if I can get most of the air out of there. And uh, yeah, we'll see how the storage on this works too. But um, this is the stuff that I had made that last week. And you can see it's still very pliable. Um, I actually think I'm going to try to work some more stuff into it. 
but um, you can make make your own product it is not going to give a good clean image like this stuff is like I'm trying it out I'm trying it out in some of these molds that are very detailed and I think even in a very detailed mold now these are not dry yet I'm just gonna pop this out and show you because um, I just put them in here you know not more than oh, I don't know five ten minutes ago so they're by no means ready to come out of the mold but I want to show you if I can get it out the nice detail that I'm getting using this product you know this is this is a fairly detailed mold and you can see that it's doing a super job um, so all of these little fine detailed molds it's great for now the stuff I was making the other day you do not get fine detail on um, even though I can get a shape and I can actually you know cut it where it's thin with my scissors I've discovered that you know so I can trim it out but also you know here's the one that I put in the mold the other day also it is very brittle so just know that it's going to crumble um, so that's a minus and then this is this this is the ones that I had made using the um, what do they call that stuff? It's like a rock product uh, to give it more texture. And I I molded these little pea pods and these hearts. And then this was the one that did not have that um, that other texturizing stuff in it. So I think for this I want to try just putting on a coat of uh, gesso. And I'm going to try painting it and see, you know, how that goes. Got a brush here. I'll get this sealed up with a coat of gesso. And, you know, I'm probably not going to put that in this video. Um, just because it's getting long and I've got a lot of content in here already but I'll try to post some pictures you know if you follow me on Instagram or bits and pieces on Facebook you know you can find some other things that are not necessarily always in my uh, yeah that are not necessarily always in my YouTube channel can't talk and paint at the same time right so I'm going to let this dry, probably do another coat or get some get some paint on this. But I've got it, you know, I've got it down. And this is some real cheap uh, gesso from Blick I'm trying to use up. Remember I used it to create the clay itself because we did a couple of different experiments. So I don't think it's going to hurt anything for sure. So that's it for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed my experimentation. If you want to uh, see more of that, I do have a how-to playlist where I experiment with things. And um, yeah, check it out. And I'll see you again next time. Remember to be kind and that you make a difference in the world. So I am thinking of you today and... Share your knowledge. See you later. Bye.